Uh, I think I had about 28 meetings scheduled for you over three and a half days. Yes, you did. So what was your impression about it? Like, um, or maybe, maybe tell us a little bit, who did you meet? Yeah. And, um, so, so you said 28, I didn't count them, but that, that sounds about right. And they were all scheduled. You, I gave you free reign over my, my calendar during that week, which was, a, which was a good thing. And I expected that, well, if half of these meetings happen, I'm happy. Well, I think there were two meetings that did not happen. One challenge was, of course, because you were booking uh, meetings between people that did not always know each other. So we were sitting in, in this VIP room and looking around who, who the guys might be that we should meet with. We learned how to deal with that. And only tw uh, one meeting was canceled because of uh, us not, not uh, finding each other. The, the other person had a meeting going on and, uh, and such. So first of all, the impression was, wow, we, we could have all of those meetings. And it was extremely efficient to not to have to travel anywhere at all. OK, okay we had to travel to, to um, Europa Park, which is a fun, fun thing from Munich. It's not fast, but it's not long. From uh, by by train, so we just had to walk, walk from one side of the room to the other to meet these people. So truly efficient uh, in order to to meet many people at a short period of time. And then your other question: What kind of people did I meet? So I met uh, mostly uh, cloud service providers from all across the world, many from Germany, but like from all countries. Several from Japan, from Indonesia, from Eastern Europe, Central Europe. Uh, from the US and so on. And that was truly important to get exposure from uh, one of the biggest user categories of MariaDB since, I mean, I mentioned here, we went to FOSDEM, that is uh, open source developers. And that's a hugely important group of users of MariaDB. This is a totally different group of, of, of people. So the exposure we got uh, to this uh, user base uh, I think it was very, very valuable. Cool. <clears throat> and in addition to that, um, beside of the pre-arranged meetings, uh, one evening we had the opportunity together with Monty to go to this executive dinner, which was um, sponsored also by our sponsor, Arconis, our sponsor, Maria TV Foundation sponsor. And um, this is, like from Cloudfest perspective, we always do it together with a partner. It's where we invite, let's say, the top 40 CEOs or CTOs from this cloud service provider um, attendees who are present. And here also that evening, we had like an, a good opportunity in a relaxed atmosphere to talk with a lot of CEOs who use hundreds of thousands and millions of MariaDB databases. Absolutely. So that was very, very valuable. I was happy to be there. And I learned from a person, not at this event, but I was talking to somebody uh, 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 senior yesterday uh, who, who told me that in order to do business, uh, you have to spend over half of the time outside the protocol and less than half of the time uh, dealing with the actual issues and, and making their proposals and, and decisions. And, and the, the networking aspect of getting to know what people uh, think and what, what, what their ideas are, be it about databases or be it about current politics, is, is I think both important and something where, where the CloudFest setting, and in particular that CEO dinner that you spoke about, uh, was was really, really good at. So I got to know quite a number of the people that we need to do, talk about details with, like uh, the, the, the Kubernetes um, package of uh, operator of MariaDB or what kind of uh, technical offerings are important for a cloud service provider. Uh, I got to talk on completely other uh, things with them and that enables us to, to then based on knowing each other face to face to uh, to get to do the actual uh, technical meetings over zoom later on so so that that i thought was a very valuable aspect of being at cloudfest cool cloudfest is over now 
yes, so like now, it's, business. now it's mm. time for follow up. So, what are your ideas? What, yes. What's on your mind now or related going back to to maria db specifics what's on your mind now for uh, the upcoming uh, weeks and months mm -hmm. um okay that's my subjective view yeah um so basically um i think it was very good for our chief contribution officer andrew to participate in the hackathon in a lot of meetings with you and with monty and um, he, he wrote to me the other day that um, he, he now understands, you know, how how serious he needs to take this uh, web hosting slash WordPress community world and how important it is for MariaDB Foundation. Yes. So um, we, we created a program back when in September when I started to work with MariaDB Foundation called Respect the Stack. Mm -hmm. If we if we look at these cloud service providers, which we were all meeting uh, last week, these are all the local champions, the largest hosting companies from Australia to Peru. So we met all of them uh, halfway, halfway through, and these are the, the follow-ups we have to do right now. And our program is very simple. We, we like to understand the infrastructure in terms of databases in general and MariaDB in specific at each uh, hosting provider. The interesting fact is that um, in, in this particular niche industry, uh, there's a lot of things towards MariaDB as a favor. If you look at the Linux distributions, what they prepackage, um, and the most widely used ones in this industry, if you look at the control panels such as cPanel and Plesk, what do they prefer, what do, do they put out by default. And, and this way, MariaDB has an extremely high market share yeah, in, in that industry and, and uh, extremely fast growing against MySquare. And um, we are talking to providers to, to help the foundation, you know, to keep up with a level of commitment, you know, towards this cloud service provider channel, as well as obviously into the development of um, features or, or anything, you know, what, what helps this market, you know, which is huge for us in terms of uh, adoption, because um, any of these providers we are talking to, they are running hundreds of thousands of Maria DB instances already. Why are they not paying? Because no one is paying for something which is just working, you know? So that's, you forget about it too easily. That was uh, what we had in a lot of these discussions with CTOs. We're like, yeah, just working. We never thought about it to, to partner or to sponsor. And, and that is our mission going forward over the next. So three to six great, months following up, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a great summary, and that's actually uh, something I wish to, to, to underline. So uh, we are reciprocate because you, through you, so that we were exposed, uh, we got more exposure from our side towards this uh, cloud service provider industry, which in much the same way as you say that MariaDB is just working uh, and they haven't bothered about us, we haven't bothered as much about them inside MariaDB Foundation because it's, it's, it seems to be going just fine from an adoption perspective. Now, uh, this is indeed a, a sort of a marriage uh, that, 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 that one has to uh, become conscious of, of also from our side. And I thought it was particularly valuable to have these interactions on both the technical level and uh, on the management level. Since we are a foundation, I wouldn't call it necessarily business from our side, but from the technical side, getting the understanding of where the uh, cloud service providers uh, see the pain points. Yes, they're happy with MariaDB, but it could always be a bit more efficient or there are always things that we can do better. Uh, so, so we got to know those things. We also got to know uh, through uh, Andrew Hutchings, the Linux Jedi interactions about how we could be better integrated in WordPress, which is one of the key uh, uh, elements of how, how people engage with cloud service providers. So I think it, it 
put uh, not just MariaDB on the radar screen of many of these uh, CSPs, but the other way around as well, CS CSPs on our radar screen. So uh, prior to this CloudFest, we are, have uh, uh, through you already got uh, uh, WebPros and IONOS as, as gold level uh, sponsors, and we were of course meeting uh, uh, structuring our, our meetings accordingly, but I believe those are uh, are now setting the example for other CSPs as to how to how to integrate uh, with us for for mutual benefit, both from uh, the perspective of openness, contributions, technical things, and adoption uh, and continuity, which which is another way to say that we want to work with them in order both to spread the usage of MariaDB and support the foundation so that we can engage more deeply when there's now 10 of us doing contributions, uh, i.e. openness and adoption. Uh, and we, we think that through more sponsorship, we can do more. And in particular, we can do more for the CSPs. Correct. I mean, that's the CSP market. But in addition to that, um, yeah, the both of us, we work on, on another stream and we also had some meetings in regard of that is to find um, partnerships and sponsorships in the hardware slash uh, software companies, you know, in the top 10, top 20, you had some meetings around that with HPE or T Toshiba at, uh, at CloudFest. And um, that is maybe also an interesting message for anyone who's viewing here from such kind of companies. I think what we are looking for is a good entry point, which we see are these uh, solution labs. You know, any of these labs, you know, where you have test environments, where most likely MariaDB is already part of a testing environment. Yeah, and there's one thing that I would like to add on that, uh, and that is that uh, people sometimes uh, think of us as a supplier. And in a way that's understandable because we provide infrastructure in the form of a database. Uh, that, that's what the MariaDB Foundation is there for. Uh, but uh, that makes us an odd bird for many of these hardware providers who who in the case of your solution labs, they would say, oh yes, uh, we're so happy about MariaDB server. We can provide you with some hardware or access over the cloud to hardware so that you can test on our hardware. And we can do so for free. And then they expect us to be grateful. And, and I'm so afraid of or wary of coming across as arrogant when I say, yes, but. So, so uh, and the reason why I have to say a but there, of course, we're happy to test MariaDB uh, on, on, on different types of hardware and platforms. But there's the but part. We, we need financing. We need, we need sponsorship in order to do that. And, and that sounds arrogant to somebody who thinks, well, I'm already giving my product to you for you to use. And now you expect uh, sponsoring on top of that. How, how greedy can you be? The, the reason is that we are not a sponsor. So there is no uh, pot of gold at the end of successfully integrating with your hardware, which turns into revenue for us because we are a non-profit. There is no revenue for a non-profit. We live through uh, sponsorship. So, so the way in, to interact with us uh, is, is based on us doing uh, the hardware providers or, or software providers, any of this, uh, a favor of making their software or hardware more integrated with MariaDB server, which means that in order for us to be able to perform that testing, in order to make your hardware or software perform well with MariaDB, uh, as opposed to that of other uh, providers, then we do need uh, personnel to do that. And, and, and that, that personnel also needs to have, have salary, which is why uh, we are ungrateful enough for your offer of, of uh, free use of your hardware by, by also asking uh, you to become a sponsor. Right. But in any way, Kai, I mean, welcoming new partners, we identified a clear path for us of potential partners to go after, sponsors to go after. This will be exciting times. We are adding new partners each month. And I'm looking forward to our recap uh, towards the end of the year. 
Yes, so what happened in between? Yep. And I think this was a very, very important milestone and, and building block in creating more and deeper partnership sponsorships uh, during 2023. So, so thank you, Soren, for both arranging CloudFest for for the entire industry and specifically for doing a, uh, doing all of the uh, matchmaking and setting up interesting meetings for MariaDB Foundation. Okay, thanks a lot, Kai. Uh, 